In Unit 3, we will familiarize ourselves with potential aims and application. This unit is divided into six sections. Section 1. Abstract Analysis of Potential Aims Before we start to have a look at the problem-based interpretation in Unit 4, the focus is on the abstract analysis of potential aims. Therefore, the five potential aims, description, causal connection, intention, function and comparison are explained from a theoretical perspective. Section 2. Description An object of investigation, for example an incident, an instrument, an agent, a method or a procedure, can be described or characterized or explained. The description has to be restrained to facts, circumstances, structures and processes that form part of the objects of investigation. Sometimes real cases or data can be used in order to provide additional empirical evidence. A common misconception is that a description is a simplistic way to deal with a topic. Actually, the description of new objects can be quite sophisticated and, especially for students, extremely challenging. If we have just a topic without a problem setting, and this topic would be project finance of windmill farms under the Renewable Energy Act, in brackets EEG, we could raise the following questions. How are project financings of windmill farms realized under the EEG? This question implies a description of structure and process from a technical perspective. Who will arrange project financings of windmill farms under the EEG? This question implies a description of facts from an institutional perspective. Where are project financings of windmill farms be realized under the EEG? This question implies a description of facts from a regional perspective. When or how long can project financings of windmill farms be realized under the EEG? This question implies a description of circumstances from a time perspective. Section 3. Causal Connection An object of investigation can also be analyzed with respect to its causality. The causal connection addresses a relation or a context. A cause, or in other words, a reason, leads to an effect, or in other words, a consequence or a result. In some cases, there is a cause and effect chain, where the effect becomes the cause for the next effect, and so forth. If we have a topic without a problem setting, and this topic would be Project Finance of Windmill Farms under the Renewable Energy Act, in brackets EEG, we would raise the following question. What are the reasons or causes that led to the rules of the EEG? This question implies a causal connection between the technical specialities of windmill farms as well as cash flow related lending and the power tariff subsidy scheme of the law. Another question that could be raised is as follows. What is the effect or result of the EEG regulation on project financings of windmill farms? This question implies a causal connection between the power tariff subsidy scheme of the law and the technical specialities of windmill farms as well as cash flow related lending. Section 4. Intention An object of investigation can also be analyzed with respect to its aim, intention or purpose. Potential objects of investigation are means, instruments, agents, methods or resources. 
Potential intentions are aims, purposes, objectives, motives and designations. There are two ways to look at the problem. First, if an intention is already available, the task can be to investigate a matching object. Possible questions. What are the means to achieve a certain aim? What is the instrument to achieve a certain purpose? Second, if an object is already available, the task can be to investigate its intention. Possible questions. What is the aim of something? What is intended to be achieved? Why is something done in a special way? With regard to our topic, Project Finance of Windmill Farms under the Renewable Energy Act, we could raise the following questions. What is the aim or intention of the EEG? This question implies an analysis of the intention of the subsidy scheme in the context of project finance and windmill farms. Another question is, what are the means of the EEG to achieve its aim? This question implies an analysis of the instruments of the subsidy scheme in the context of project finance and windmill farms. Section 5. Function Objects of investigation can also be analyzed with respect to their inherent functional relations, that is, interdependencies, reciprocities, correlations, relatedness, and or connections. Possible questions are, how is A influenced by B, and how is B influenced by A? What is the impact of A on B and what is the impact of B on A? With respect to the topic Project Finance of Windmill Farms under the Renewable Energy Act, we could raise the following questions. Question 1. How is project finance or windmill farms influenced by the Renewable Energy Act? And how was the structure of the EEG influenced by the special character of project finance and windmill farms? Question 2. What is the impact of project finance or windmill farms on the EEG? And what is the impact of the EEG on project finance of windmill farms? Section 6. Comparison One or more objects of investigation can be compared with respect to equalities, similarities and or differences. A comparison can be performed in different ways. Objects of investigation can be compared with respect to quality and quantity. Objects of investigation can be compared at different points in time. Objects of investigation can be compared with respect to different sectors, companies or countries. Supervisions, assessments, tests, examinations, audits, controls and certifications are typically linked to target actual comparisons of attributes. If we have a topic without a problem setting, and this topic would be project finance or windmill farms under the German Renewable Energy Act and the Spanish subsidy scheme, a possible question could be which subsidy scheme is more effective? If the topic would be project finance of windmill farms after the revision of the Renewable Energy Act, a possible question could be which version of the subsidy scheme serves the purpose? If the topic would be efficiency and effectiveness of the Renewable Energy Act with respect to project finance of windmill farms, a possible question could be to which degree does the subsidy scheme serve its purpose?